Hey guys, it's Nanette with Heart Baby Home. Today we're going to be looking at heart number 28, which is TGA with a narrow aorta. So the first thing I notice looking at this heart is the TGA, which is right in the middle. It's the transposition of the great arteries. Transposition means switching position. And the great arteries, that's the aorta and the pulmonary artery. So if you look in the normal heart, the aorta takes blood out of the left ventricle out to the body and the pulmonary artery takes blood from the right ventricle to the lungs. So in heart number 28, instead of going to the correct ventricles, then the pulmonary artery is closer to the oxygen rich blood and the aorta is closer to the oxygen poor blood. Now that would be really bad for you um, if it wasn't for that VSD in the middle. That's a ventricular septal defect and that allows the blood to mix between the lower chambers of the heart. Now this isn't really a good thing because it makes your heart inefficient but if you have TGA without that hole then it's not compatible with life. So it's really good that that hole was there. I also see a coarctation of the aorta that's right at the top of the aorta, aortic arch. The aorta is pinched so it, the blood doesn't get out to the body very well and that's something that they fix. The aorta is also hypoplastic which just means it's underdeveloped so it's really small, smaller than it should be. And then I also see an ASD, an atrial septal defect. Now the set, septum is the walls of the heart and so an ASD is just a hole between the atria. So I also see a hypoplastic right ventricle and that just means the right ventricle is underdeveloped so it won't be able to work as well and in this case the right ventricle is pushing out the blood to the body so it's really important that that ventricle is working well because it, it has the most work to do. And it looks like that's everything for heart number 28. If you appreciate this video, please click on my subscribe button below. This directly helps me and I'm able to spend more time working on hearts. And click like. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. The best place to do that is www.heartbabyhome.com slash contact. That's the place that I look at the most and if you have a new heart request, a heart that is not yet on my website that you would like me to draw, please let me know. I am always available to draw more hearts. I am also on Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, so please get a hold of me if you have any questions I can help you or I can get you in touch with someone who can. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye-bye.